Many members for one body. Many bodies for one spirit. Many believers for one spiritual community. They're to be one with each other, with Christ and with the Father. There is no exception. Their union is to be universal, that all may be one. Are you still with me? Yeah. It's not optional, but the universal rule of the society and law of it, it's great had to be one. Yeah. They are to be one in spite of time. In spite of time. Are you with me? Believers are separated by time. Some are of the present, some are of the past, and some of the future. But all are included, included in this great union. We all are the church of Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those that were with Jesus, those that were 100 years later, those of God, and you and me are one with the church. Yeah. We're one, church. Those who believe on me through, not merely the fathers of the faith are to be in it, but what? But their children to the last generation, to the last one of that generation, one. In spite of space, believers are separated by place and distance. They inhabit different countries. Yeah. They, they, they are all in different climates or climates. They're all large multitudes on earth, large multitudes still in heaven. But, but let me just tell you, they are all in this union. Yes. The law, the law. Let me, let, me, let me go quick. I, I want to say this. The one we're talking about, it's laws, it's unions, it's, it's, binding and operative in spite of space and distance. The one in spite of differences, believers are separated by physical, mental, social, spiritual, circumstantial differences. But these are not to prevent their union, but they're to be one in spite. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know about that church. We're different from that. I don't know about we Can I tell you? Differences is what makes it good. Gives it the flavor. Gives us the flow. Those differences. We are still one. Yeah. Don't set yourself outside the group because you're not like everyone. Don't believe that you're not preferred because you're not like everyone. That's what makes you special. Yeah. If you look at me most of the time, you'll say, <laughs> you don't look like a regular or something, I'm pastor. <laughs> they know me at this trick. 1,000 minutes are, Pastor Randall, how you doing? He's special. Yes, I'm special. The church says amen. That's why he is special. Hallelujah. They're not to prevent the union, guys. The union is to be perfect. They are to be perfected into one. They are to be perfected into one. God is working it out. Yeah. It's not a sham union, but a real one. And perfection is its goal. Yeah. God is working to make us one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going somewhere with this. Please, please don't, yeah. don't fall off of me.
gradual, gradual is to be attained. Gradually, God is working to perfect that union. Yeah. Something like this is the import, the scope, and the ideal of this grand union of which Christ is the author, president, and inspiration. One. The problem with America now is that we're taught to be individuals. I do my own thing, I go where I want, I be who I be, I run with who I want to run with, and who I'm not, I just, I just do me. Because it's about me, and I love me. Have something, hello! And we get caught up in this individuality, and I come and go, and I don't, I don't let nobody tell me anything, I don't submit to anyone, I'm just free in the Lord. Mm. How many know that's sin? For you not to have a, a, a covering uh, and belong to a body, it's sin. For you to be your own pastor, it's sin. I'm a pastor, I got three pastors. You want to have three pastors? This one says go, this one says go, this one says stay still. He calls us to be one. It calls us to be one. It's his high model and basis. Its model is divine. As thou, Father, art. That's the model. The model is the union of the Father and the Son. What union was this? It was the union of nature and essence and life. We're supposed to be united because the nature, the essence, and the life that's flowing in us, we're supposed to be able to come together. Can't get church people to come here on time. And people leave, don't even say hello to Pastor. <laughs> we supposed to be for the same church? My brother. My sister. We 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 are we supposed to with love. Where's the unity? The nature, the essence, the life of the church is supposed to be a unity. Why? Because people are going to see that. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to see the love that's in it. They're going to say, man, there's something different about that group. There's something different about that bunch. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to teach it all. I'm just going to give you this, and I'm gone because uh, it's my wife's birthday. Did I tell you that? It's her birthday. 27. <laughs> Believers are partaker of the divine nature and the new nature and life are the same in all. You got the same thing I got if you got Jesus. You got the same God in you. We've got that unity of spirit. You got the same thing. Unity, partakers, the new nature, and life are the same. You know, if you're a Christian, as I'm a Christian, then your life should be like my life, and my life should be like your life. If you're the only one doing Jesus, like you're doing it, guess what? That ain't Jesus. If you're out there doing a specialized Jesus, somebody smoke a weed in the morning. I got thank you, Eddie, for that. I got my notes for Eddie. That was just for Eddie. I get it with that. Old school. If you got this only, you know, because I used to be a spiritual. Spiritual, spiritual. Also spiritual, spiritual. <sighs> the angels will sound the charm. Now what? You ever met people like that? They just walking on the air. And they got their own. You're an error. You're a fallacy. You're, 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 you're disconnected and Jesus is praying for you that you will become one so that other people can see the unity of the body and glorify the Father. Yeah, yeah. Come on, this is like a stern kind of correction. Yeah. Because we have too many individuals in the body when we're supposed to be one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is the church. This is the people. We're supposed to be one in nature, one in life, and unity of mind. Unity, somebody, unity of mind. Believers are to strive for unity of faith and to mind the same things. Yes. Pastor, man, that's just, just, what are you talking about? Guys, we're supposed to be one in faith. One faith, one love, one baptism, one. Yes. And to mind the same thing. Where, where you at? But I'm over here. The, the church is having uh, a, a rubbish sale. It might be simple. It might be nothing. But when people come on the ground and they see the love between us and they see the, the understanding and we're all different and nobody looks the same, dressed the same, you know, got the same body, dressed in white and black, like Amish, we're not Amish, we're not one, got the same of us. No, Brother Jerome, don't look like me. I've been trying to get not like me. We're all different. But we have that unity yes. of spirit, unity of faith, unity of mind. We're minding the same. We're together at the anointing of the rummage sale. It's beautiful. Where are you? Well, I'm not coming. Do you ever come to anything of the church? Can I just get real with you? Are you really in unity of the church? This is Jesus is praying for you. That you become one. I, I'm not going to, a few words for those that are wise and sufficient. Amen? Amen. Unity of heart. Believers are to strive for unity, to be in one heart, one sympathies, one love, the bond of perfectness. Do you love me? Do you love me? I got people. I don't know. You don't even know me. Some people you love because you don't know. Some people you don't know. I'm not telling the truth. Amen. Some people <laughs> you instantly dislike them. Other people take some while. Hello. Amen. We should be in one in love. Amen. In love. Unity of love, unity, unity of heart, unity of sympathies, unity of will and purpose. How's your, what's your will? Is your will to establish the kingdom of God? How many just live? I just want to establish the kingdom of God. I just want to. How about you, brother? Don't you see God's kingdom progress? Don't you want to see big people blessed in the name of Jesus? Don't you want people saved and other people delivered? Don't you want to see people? Why don't you come along and help us? Yeah. Wednesday night, I'm here. I'm here trying to pray. I'm trying to pray to heaven. Now. Father, bless the church. Make a one of God. Oh, Lord. There's nobody here. When the church is supposed to be meeting together, um, I understand that, but I have to say it. 
I have to say. Amen. What do we get? I'm finished with this. What do we get? My wife is going crazy with that thing there. She can't handle it. <laughs> she can't handle the truth. <laughs> Let me just give you this. This <laughs> Christian unity is important. Why? Yes, is. For growth and grace. Yes. For growth and grace. When we're together, there's a growth that occurs, and that growth is a growth in grace. We get to know stuff and understand stuff and receive stuff and be impacted by stuff. Why is unity so important, Pastor? Because number two, it brings comfort. Christian unity brings comfort. You ever get somewhere, a church thing and whatnot, and you, and you feel so good? Yeah. And, and there's a blessing of that. There, there, there's a move. And number three, Christian unity is good because it helps the furtherance of the gospel. Jesus said, I'm praying that they become one. That they, you know, now, let, me, let me just tell the truth. They weren't one to begin with. They were all over the place. They were having situations. They, were there. they had to pray through. They had to come together in prayer to get the mind of God. They have to come together in prayer. I don't, I don't bring people out on Monday nights because I know people are, they just came from church yesterday. I understand that. We have a prayer opportunity here on, on Monday night. But on Wednesday night, that's like a hump. That's like in between you have enough. You have three days to settle. But you have to come back on Wednesday night so we can pray. So we can pray. How many know that America needs prayer? Amen. We as the people of God, we see the lost souls. And most of the time, we do more talking about them than we pray for them. Yeah. I believe at least get it more or less even. I don't have to. If you want to talk about them, go ahead and talk about them. But at least pray for them. Yes. Come together in prayer. Yes. Show up on Wednesday and pray. You know, most churches are closed. They only open on Sunday morning for an hour and a half. They were, the, the buildings are empty the whole week. And then they come back on Sunday morning again. Because they're not in one with Jesus and the Father about His will and purpose. We call them Sunday morning church boards. Yeah. Pastor, what you're saying? Well, Pastor, this, this, this don't sound so motivational. Well, let me, let me end on a good note. The disciples got together and prayed. And the power of the Holy Ghost showed up. And with that power, they went forth. The Bible declares that they said, these people have come here turning the world upside down in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And Millions and millions of souls have come to know the love of Jesus because of that unity. That unity. I pray that New Hope becomes one. I, I pray that we become one. We see a lot of people are not here because they weren't one. They weren't one with New Hope. They weren't. They have gone from within us because they were not of us. Not because we didn't want them, it's because they didn't care for it. You ever not want to be one with the church? You, you, mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen, Pastor. Glory, not this one. I mean, come on. Amen. <laughs> Pastor. Church, church, that we be one. That we will set up this infrastructure. That we call a church. In unity. That if the church is all over here, we're all over here. 
If the church is on this side, we're all sitting on this side. You ever call for, 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 for the church to sit over here? There's that one guy over there. I'm curious. We're meeting at 4 o'clock. Shows up at 6. With a swag. We're giving for this cause. I don't like that cause. I'm not going to get it. I'm praying for unity. I'm praying for the unity. If we're going to build here. Pastor, what do you feel like? You know what I feel like? I feel like, I feel like Nehemiah. Nehemiah arrived on the scene of, uh, uh, of history, of biblical history. And you know what? When he arrived on the scene, his whole, his whole city was burned to the ground. But you know what God called him to do? Rebuild. Rebuild. I feel like Nehemiah right now. That's what God told me. You're my Nehemiah. I want you to rebuild your home. I want you to show up there and rebuild. And rebuild it right with real pillars. People that are soldiers. I don't call you church members. I call you soldiers. I don't call you. No, no. These are my soldiers. When I say move, they move. Now, I can't make it, man, because I got to move, move. <laughs> I got to be able to call you and say, hey, I need you to go to Key West. Get in your car. In the name of Jesus. I want you to tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I need you to go and, and visit this person in the hospital. We need to move this person to being evicted. We need to move all their stuff. We it's an all night prayer. You ever been all night prayer? Uh, ten o'clock in the morning to six o'clock. I mean, ten o'clock at night to six o'clock in the morning. Uh, watch night, really? We never do that because why? Because whenever it happened, and you said you weren't gonna go. <laughs> Are you feeling me? <clears throat> what happens there? We pray, and we pray, and we pray. And things happen. That's right. That's right. Doesn't happen anymore. I'm too many Sunday God churches. We don't do too many bitches. We left our first love. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for soldiers. That'll be a part of our cults. New hope. Come on, stand, 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 stand. stand. The first test is going to be next week, Sunday night, 6 o'clock, Church in the Park, if it doesn't rain. If it does rain, we'll be here praying for the loss. 6 to 7. 7 each, more or less, kind of, sort of. <laughs> How many consider themselves part of New Hope Assembly of God Church? I know we have visitors. Amen. Amen. How many say, I'm part of this body, Pastor, you can count on me, man. I'm going to try to, I want you to pray that I be one with this body. We got a lot to do. I got a food bag that needs to be cleaned. I'm sorry, sister. I mean, they, they haven't cleaned my food bag in about a month and a half, two months, and the roaches have almost carried my sister's grocery to the car. Hello? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not ashamed. I got to tell the truth. I was so embarrassed. I was saying, Lord, please let the ground open up and swallow me whole. We want to be one. We want to be one. How many say, Pastor, I'll go with you so I can see who I can, I, 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 I can trust? Uh, Pastor, I'll be with you. I'll be here. I'll, be, I'll go with you, Pastor. Uh, you can count on me to pray with you. You can count on me to, 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 to help you. We go by, can I see hands, please? I'm, I'm taking names. Give me my phone. I'm going to take a picture. Hallelujah. I'm going to take a picture. I want to see. Please don't be a church attender or a church hopper. You know the church hopper? Hop from church to church to church, from one ministry to one ministry, and they're running all around and don't belong to nobody and don't do nothing. Well, hello? Well, help me. All eyes closed, I want to see hands. You can go plan. I want to see hands. Hallelujah. So I can know what to plan. Eyes closed, let me see who, who's part of one, who wants to be. One with the new home assembly of God body. I just, I just want to see because I need to make plans. 
I need to be planned. I need to see. I, I need to make plans. My treasure is still got her hand on. I don't know what's going on there. Oh God, Lord, oh, Lord, she's got me scared. She got the books. <laughs> Somebody pray for me. Get the oil. Get the oil. Get the oil. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Come on, come on. Let me see those hands. Please, please. I asked Maria. She just got baptized. She got her hands down. Hallelujah. Lord, God. come on, come on. Jesus is praying for you right now. Lord, that we may be one. Hallelujah. Pastor, but I live far away. I don't care how far you live. I didn't ask you that. Hallelujah. If you go farther, go to Disney. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I'm praying. After I have one person tell me I'm going to be part of here, I haven't seen them in a long, long time. Hallelujah. I'm like, oh my God, somebody help me. Liars go to fire. Hello. Father, in the name of Jesus. I, I'm just telling you, I, I, I want to build this church. And I can't build by myself. You saw how ridiculous I look. If I go out there by myself, if I do all these functions by myself, I'm going to have a heart attack and die. Amen. 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 I already have one, yes. Amen. We've got to get real with this. We've got to get real with it. We've got to make a commitment with the Lord. We've got to commit. Don't play church. How much time do you have that you give to God? Sincerely. How much time do you invest in the kingdom of God? I mean, how much is it that you owe God? If it won't be for the Lord, I'll be in jail, selling drugs, or on the streets. I'm telling you, I owe my whole life. I owe my whole life. If he, if, if he doesn't do anything but set me free from that lifestyle, that's, that's all he needs to do for me. I commit it to him. Give him my life, give him my all, whatever you want, sir. Lord, I'm praying for new hope. I know, Jesus, you're praying for us up there. I know you want us to be one. I know you're, you're desiring for us to be one in all this, in nature, in essence, in life, in will, in purpose. You want us to be one in goals. You want us to be one in, in space, in time. You want us to be one. Lord, remove that spirit of division. There's so many spirits. And the worst one is the spirit of division. And God is not into division. Lord, that you will make us one. That you will make us one. Just as the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost are one, that we would be one. Doesn't matter the what. But that we would be one. Father, that we as a new old church, we will have the success that the, the, the disciples had. We want to have that success. We want to reach the world. All these, all these posters on the wall. We want to reach them. We want to reach our neighbor, our family. We want to reach, oh God, our schools, our community. We want to reach them. We can't do it by ourselves. Father, for the growth of grace, for the growth of the spiritual comfort, for the growth of the gospel, we pray, oh God, make us one. Somebody pray out loud, make us one. Make us 